Today we're going to be making Mercury with molecules from Orb. So this is our tray. It comes with aqua, magenta, yellow, black, and white. So let's get started. We're going to pop out the molecules from the tray. Okay. Woo. A nice big piece. We'll get some magenta. Get every last molecule out. And there's the yellow, Oop. black, and white. Okay, so I think we're going to start with the head. So let's go ahead and grab some blue or aqua, and we're just going to make a nice circle or ball, head shaped ball. <laughs> so you want to make it kind of flat on the bottom so that when you build the body uh, you can put the head on nicely at the end. So we're going to give it a little bit of a shape here like this. We're going to give a little bit of eye definition where we want the eyes to go. And then we're going to give them a little bit of a snout, kind of right at the front. So you're pinching and moving the balls around. There you go. How about that? So now you can kind of push it down on the table and it helps give you a little flat surface on the bottom like that. So this is what our head looks like so far. So now we're going to do some ears. And we're going to use the aqua again. We're going to take a little piece, cut it in half, generally with your fingers. And we're going to just make two triangles. So here's your first triangle, and that looks pretty good. So we're going to make our second triangle. And you can kind of stick your thumb in there. And it gives a little, little extra room for the inside of the ear that we're going to do. Okay, so that's our outside part. And you can also do that same thing where we push it down on the table a little bit. And it gives it more of a flat surface. So when you put, attach it to the head, um, it just fits nicely. So now you take a little bit of your pink. And you make another little triangle. And you're just going to pop it inside the big triangle. There we go. We've got one ear. Look at that. Cool. Let's do one more. And here's our second triangle. Stick it in the big triangle. And then we're going to attach. Just like that. So you just kind of push it down on the head wherever you feel looks best. So there we go. Okay. And now we're going to make the nose. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some white. So let's see the proportion. We're going to do maybe a little less. And I'm going to just make uh, another triangle just like this, but this time the widest part is going to be on the top. Okay, And then we're going to define it a little bit with some black. So it's going to look pretty good. So grab some black, make another little triangle, this time with the same, so, whoops, same widest bit on top. Okay, and we'll just stick it right on top of our nose area. Like that. Okay, so then you take a little bit of black for our little definition of his little smile. So you can roll it between your fingers or just line them up one by one, whatever feels right for you. And we'll give him a little smile. Look at that. So happy. And let's try the other side. Roll out the black. 
a little bit and we'll just stick it on there and there you got a little mouth how cute is that all right let's put him right onto his face you can squish him on a little bit there we go and if they move around you can just put them back into place Look at that little smile. Cute. Okay, so now let's do the eyes. So we're going to use white again. And we're going to make two little balls for our eyes. So those pretty good, pretty good size. So you can roll your amount into a ball. Okay pretty good and then you're going to flatten out with your thumb a little bit so you can give it some detail so you flatten it out with your thumb a little bit so it's kind of like this a little flat on one side and we're going to make the colored part of the eye with yellow so we're going to do a little just squish a little ball flat and you can Kind of use your thumb and fingers to make a little ball like that. That looks about good. Push it in. And we'll do one more for the other eyeball. Oop. Need a little bit more. Okay, squish that down nice and thin. And then we'll put that right on top. Now we're going to do a pupil. See, it's looking pretty good. Woo! A little scary without the pupil. Okay. So take a little bit of black, and you just want to make a little circle a little bit smaller than your yellow one. So do the same thing, flatten it out. You might want to add a couple more. It's really thin. It's really only like one molecule of the black tall. So there you go. It fits just within that yellow circle there. And then we'll do another one for the other eye. Squish it out into a circle. Oop. Okay. Stick it on. Oop. Have a little patch there. You fill it in. There we go. How do we look? Might need a little bit more on this one. This is great. This is where you can use one atom at a time to really build the definition of each character that you build. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to put a little, one tiny little molecule as a highlight in, inside the pupil. So it gives it that shine, like that. Okay, the only other thing we're going to add to the eyeball is the eyebrow. So, like we did before with the smile, just going to roll out a little bit of black. There we go. And you can squish it down too, and it'll kind of flatten out, give you a nice line. So, you can add it on wherever you want. Give it a nice arc. And then you can just pinch. Whoop, there you go. There's one. And there's your eyeball. So now we've got our other piece. And let's put it right there. Just like that. Okay, Oop. we're going to move our highlight up a little bit. There we go. Okay, great. So now we're going to add the eyeballs in. So you're just going to hold it like this and just kind of push it in really gently. You don't want to push too hard sometimes because they flatten out, but you can always fix it. There we go. It's looking pretty good so far, I think. Little Mer Kitty. Okay. 
So the next part we're going to do is the crown. So we're going to take a little bit of yellow and we're going to see what size we want to make it. So I'm just going to break it off a little bit. And so really, I'm just going to kind of make a circle, flat circle. And then you're just going to pinch on the outside and then on the inside three little prongs for the top of the crown. Just like that. So it's a lot of pinching and moving. So what do we think? Is that too big? Bring it down just a little bit. How about that? And again, I'm just going to squish it on the table so when it's nice and flat, it sits on his head really well. Ta-da! You know what I think we need? A little embellishment. How about we put a couple of magenta jewels on top? Just like that. Awesome. Great. So there's our head. So now we're going to move over to our body. And I'm going to save a little bit for my legs and a little bit for detailing later on. So I'm just going to put that aside and I'm going to put this aside for my legs. And I'm going to use this, the rest of my aqua for my body. So I want him to stand up a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of build it from the ground up. So what you want to do, like we did before with the flat part of the head on the bottom, you want to also have something flat so that the head can sit on it. So basically, we're just doing a cylinder, it's a tube. And you can build this up a little bit to give a little more, more of a back. So you're just kind of squishing. That. How about that? Does that look about right? It's getting there. Okay. I think you need to build up his back a little bit more, so I'm just going to pull down some of this, flush it out on the bottom. There we go. So I'm going to build that place for his head a little bit more. go. And you can really make whatever shape you want for his body. This is just a guideline. All right. So you want a little part that goes into his tail. So you want a little piece to attach. You know, put the tail out afterwards. So, there we go. There's our kind of cylinder shaped body. Kind of round like that. Okay, so let's go back to our legs. So, I, with this piece that I have left over, I'm just going to split it in two so that they're even legs. And again, I'm just going to make a little bit of a triangle, like we did before with our ears. So make a triangle and then kind of pinch out some paws, like that. And if you think that it's too big, you can take some off, just like that. All right. So I'm going to squish it down like this. Maybe I'll take a little extra off there. And we can move that around, use it for another part. Okay. So we've got one. And now I'll just kind of make our triangle and pinch out the bottom. 
with a little paw. Could take a little bit off this side, use for later. Might take a little bit off that side. Just even it out. We'll pull it down. Keep pinching, keep pinching. Okay. So we're looking good. Little paws. We're going to get a little definition here for little claws. So we're going to get our black again and make another little coil. So just roll it out or pinch it out, however you want to do it. And break off a little piece. Squish it together. Boop. Make a little snake. There we go. We just put one toe on and we'll do another toe. Okay, here we go. One toe, two toe. Here we go on the other paw. Break that in half. Here we go. There's our little toe. And one more. There we go. Squish out that little snake. There's our toes. Cool. So now we're going to attach our legs to our body. So you can just squish it right up against the body, just like that. Just give it a little push. Same with over here. There we go. Look at that. We've got some legs. It's pretty cool. All right, so now we're going to make the little chest plate and we're going to grab some magenta and we're going to look at what this shape is, kind of like a Y. So we'll use a little thin piece and just squish it with your hand out like this and give it, give it some arms like that. And you can go as thick or as thin as you want. And that's looking pretty good. I'll maybe take off a little bit and make it a little bit thinner. Just like that. And it's all up to you. You can make it whatever you'd like to make. So now I'm going to add it on. So I'm going to Put the chest plate over up, up top of the legs and you just really squish it in. I'm just going to squish it in between the legs there. And you can pick up your piece and really get right in there. There we go. Look at that. Excellent. Our paws back down. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to make our little shells. So we're going to grab some yellow and yeah, looks about good. We're going to make a little ball. We're going to flatten it out a little bit. And then you're just going to push your finger in on the top in the two little two little parts right here and we're going to make kind of like a little flower. Well, it's a shell. <laughs> there we go. Looks good. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this. Make a little ball. Flatten it out a little bit and then stick your fingers in the top. You can pinch it out a little bit. You want to make sure you're looking kind of even. That's not quite even yet. There we go. How about that? It's looking pretty good. You can go thicker or thinner, however you want to do it. You can give it more dimension if you wanted to pinch kind of like that. 
and give it more dimension. So we'll detail it with a little bit of black again. So we'll do what we did with the toes and just kind of squish out a little piece like this, a little snake. And we'll just line it like that. Give it some definition. We'll do it again. You can roll it out or pinch it, whatever is easier for you. All right, looks good. Cool. So we'll do that one more time for the other shell. There's one and one more. Okay, I'm just going to add a couple extra molecules. There we go. Okay, these are our shells. Pretty cool. So we'll put those to the side for now. And now we're going to build the tail. So you're going to grab some of your, I'm just going to move these over a little bit. Grab your block of magenta and how about we use this bigger piece? So you want to kind of see how much you want to use. And you're just going to kind of roll it into a cone shape. So roll it, whoop, roll it between your hands or kind of squish it. So we want to connect it here and also bend it up. So hold it, hold it down on the table maybe and just pull up on your tail like that. So it gives a nice bend in, in the mermaid tail. Okay. And you want to give it a flat surface so you could even kind of push it down on the table to give you a nice connection with the rest of the body. So if you flatten it a little bit, it'll stay up like that. And there we go. I'm going to put some indents with my thumb so that I can put my little fins in there after. So there we go. There's our tail. So why don't we just go ahead and attach that. So you can kind of pick it up and squish it in, however you, however you want to connect the two pieces, just like that. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to use my leftover blue aqua and I'm going to decorate it a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's wait. Let's make our little fins first for our tail. So I'm going to break off a little piece of yellow and let's see, what does that look like? That looks like a good amount. So I'm going to break off another piece, make sure they're kind of even. So I'm going to squish it out kind of into a, like a triangle, a little bit, lopsided triangle. So I want it to be like a fin, so, or like a teardrop. Yeah, try a teardrop. And then it can be kind of that thick. And you can always hold it up to your model to see how big you want it to be and if you want to make it smaller or or bigger. Okay, so I'm going to make it kind of the same but going the opposite direction. So make a little triangle tear shape. 
like that. Pinch that little thing to make it nice and pointy. And there you got your two little fins. So it's just like a teardrop and then you go whoop. And you can flatten it out a little bit on this side. So just push it down on the table a little bit. So how about that? There we go. Oop. And you can always squish it back into place like that. So those are looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to do some embellishment with our magenta. So if you take your molecules and string them out in a line, one by one in a line, just like that. We'll just give the fin a little bit of a definition. We can add a couple more on, so we'll make the line a bit longer. Like that. That's looking pretty good. Okay, let's do the same thing for the other side. Started here, just squish it on. We want two more, I think. There we go. Oop. Looks great. Okay. So we've got our little fins, and then we're going to use the rest of our yellow to make the band in between the tail and the rest of the body. So just going to squish it out, maybe squish it out on your table. You can make it as thick or thin as you want. Just going to make a long rectangle. Squish, 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 squish. You can even use the table as a straight edge on one side, like that. So test it out. You've got lots there. You can take off a little bit. And then you get just pinch to make the definition in the band. So I'll make a little scalloped edge, as they say. And you can define it too when you put it on your sculpture. You can tweak it and make it more round, or you can do whatever shapes you want. You can do triangles, you can do circles. There we go. It's kind of like a crown. Okay, let's put that on. And we're just going to squish it on like that. And we've got a little extra on this side. So we can just it on just like that. All right. Looking pretty good. So now let's add our fins to our tail. So you can just squish the fins on. And if you want, you can use your fingers and kind of give it a little more depth and dimension. Pulling and pushing, just giving it a little more shape. You can always readjust your molecules one atom at a time. There, that looks pretty good. So now let's decorate the tail. So we've got our big, and you can pull them apart so you can really get a nice variation of shape and size, and your details can be as wild and crazy as you'd like, or as su subtle and simple as you'd like. Put some on top, put them 
randomly or you can make your own pattern. What if you did stripes or polka dots? That would be pretty cool. So we'll make sure we get all the way around. And you can do any kind of pattern. You could even throw some yellow in there if you wanted to, or white or black. However you want to make your Mercury. There we go. It's pretty good. Oop. Okay, we're almost there. So I think we're just going to pop on our shells now. So that looks like a good spot. You can put them anywhere you'd like and just squish on the shells. We'll do the other one here. Squish it in place and you can always readjust. If you squish too hard, you can always readjust your black lines. Or if your shapes get a little squished, you can always pinch them back into where how you want them to look. Okay, look at that. Our body's pretty much done. Looking pretty good. Okay, so now we're just gonna put on the head. Ta-da! There we go. You've got yourself a Mer Kitty. <laughs>